So this is a seafood sizzler. Okay, it's spilling all over. So, oh my, I had to taste it. It's so delicious. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm here in Fontaege, which is a famous Portuguese area here in Goa. And in today's video, we are going to go to a very famous Portuguese restaurant here. They have a lot of Portuguese and Goan cuisine, which is called Viva Panjim, guys. So it's a very famous restaurant and it's been here for a long time. And we're going to go and try out some new dishes today. So let's go and check it out. Okay, guys, so how to find this place is this is the famous Mary Immaculate Girls School. And right next to this place is this small lane. So you'll see this small board here, which is called Viva Panjim. And then we are going to follow this small area inside and go towards the restaurant. So it's a very beautiful, quaint restaurant here. So if you can see here, Viva Panjim as we go in here and they have these beautiful tables here, which has this nice Portuguese vibe. You'll see these Goan tiles here, which is very beautiful. And then you have like over here, they will show you all today's specials, which are available. And let's just see the restaurant inside. So this is the restaurant inside, like I said. So this is the small restaurant inside. They have a few tables inside, but what we are going to do is we are going to come here and sit out here and have some nice food. So you can either sit here, see the great part is they have this like social distancing barriers in between. So you are nice and safe here. So let's get into ordering some food i'm going to show you the menu and whatever they have here guys so just another look that's the restaurant inside see there are people inside and there's another room inside there for a bigger group of people i don't want to really go in because there are lots of people and i don't want to show people eating food right now so anyway let's order something and show you okay guys so let's just take a little look at the menu here so if you see the beer prices these are the beer prices here and all the other prices of the cocktails and stuff if you want to see the menu you can just take a screenshot of the menu so that's my wife Sharon and here are like all the Chinese food starters and stuff like this but what happens is we are going to order something different we're going to try some Goan food and some Portuguese kind of cuisine so let me just show you here these are the continental stuff so these are very famous, the continental food. And they also have pork, non-vegetarian. So accordingly, they will have the different options here. So just to show you the menu a little longer and the main course. Now something which is very good here is the prawns curry rice. Okay, so they give you six prawns and their prawn curry rice is very famous. It's 300 rupees. They have a lot of different like pomfret curry rice, mackerel rice. Accordingly, you can see the prices here. And we are going to try out something which is, okay, we're going to get a mixed seafood sizzler. Because, you know, I, I've been showing you a lot of seafood in Goa, but I want to show you something different today. And they have amazing steaks. So if you want to try a steak, they have very delicious steaks, which you can try out over here. So, yeah, guys, so this is the menu here. And this is the desserts of course we are going to get one of these which is very very delicious so sharon wants to start with the dessert first but yeah we're going to get some food and let me show you what we get okay so now off late i've changed my favorite drink before i used to like a lot of beer so off late i've been drinking a lot of gin which is a really nice drink and you should definitely try gin so all, all you have to do is get a small peg of gin and squeeze a nice lime in there okay and get a lot of lime juice in it so it gets a nice flavor to it and my my style of drinking is i get a tonic water and you put half tonic water into this so you don't want to get a lot of tonic water otherwise it becomes very bitter and you put uh water into this now why i like gin is because you know we, we usually party a lot especially me when i'm out 
so i used to drink and get a bad hangover and ever since i started drinking gin i've not been having much of hangovers so it's a very mild hangover so ever since then i started liking gin so cheers guys so this is my drink so cheers to sharan so perfect so it's a nice beautiful day here with nice sunny weather and as you can see this is the nice quaint street here which gives you that nice authentic goan vibe to it okay guys so the first dish has just arrived and this is called a crab shack shack so a crab shack shack is basically a onion and coconut kind of gravy it's absolutely smelling oh, it smells great and look at the size guys so this two huge crabs are costing only 500 rupees so if you go to most restaurants it's much more expensive and it comes with french fries as well as a garden salad here and you know look at the size just to measure the size if you see my fingers look at the size of the crabs so if you've seen in my previous videos we've done crabs before but they've been pretty expensive so if you are on a uh, you know you want to come and have something which is very affordable and very delicious definitely try these out and my mouth is literally watering just with the smell and just looking at this so anyway we are going to order some more dishes they are on the way and yes let's wait for them and then i'll show you what we get next so the next dish has just arrived this is a honey glazed pork steak so sharan ordered this and it i can't tell you the smell is you know you get that nice burnt caramelized honey smell and it's just making my mouth water so badly because i'm so hungry i did not have breakfast today because we can come here and have an absolute feast and this is amazing so okay they, it comes with a side of vegetables so you have boiled veg you have like tomatoes cucumber french fries and the portion is pretty good so i i don't remember the price but i'll put the price below so our next dish is here so let's look at this wow so this is a sizzler which has just arrived let him put it here so bring it closer please can you put it here so look at that so this is a seafood sizzler okay it's spilling all over so oh my had to taste it is so delicious oh wow so okay what what's in a seafood sizzler the seafood sizzler costs 450 rupees and let's look at a closer look at the thing it's all dripping all over so we have to save the plate somehow so we'll push it all here oh my it's making a mess so yeah let's push it all back in here okay so let me just show you the <coughs> the dish we just had a little accident of pushing all of it down so anyway we had to cut a bit and okay we arranged everything again so in this seafood sizzler they have like fish so if you see here they have fish then they have prawns they have squids in it again a big portion of vegetables and over here you have jeera rice so this this looks great and i had to taste a little bit it's so so good uh we are just waiting for one more dish that is about to come and then i'll show you that dish and then we'll start eating and i'll show you and tell you exactly what it tastes like and the whole experience guys okay guys so the last dish has just arrived and this is called a prawns balchao so they give you six prawns in this it's oh it smells so good okay so everything smells so good and i bet it tastes delicious and this is usually eaten with rice or you can have it with a goan bread here which is the local goan bread and this is the seafood feast and seafood and mixed foods all we have got here so i have been trying some new things today which i have not done in previous vlogs so <coughs> let's start off and try out everything so first i want to try out let's try out the pork dish over here so you can get all types of food here you can try indian food different cuisines so we'll try it out oh wow so it has this nice hit of spice to it which i was not expecting and it has a rich honey and garlic flavor 
and it has some uh, fruits in it which i think is apricots which is this fruits here so we'll just bring a closer look at this so if you see here oh it's orange i think it's orange yeah orange honey because it's called orange honey glaze so wow so that orange really comes through it has that nice orange and honey zesty flavor absolutely amazing so next let's try out the seafood sizzler so we'll just push this to the side let me get this here don't mind me guys i love to eat with my hands you know god gave me hands so i'm going to enjoy my food with my hands so this is the fish mm i i don't really i can't recollect what kind of fish this is but it's nice it has that nice soft creamy texture to it and what we'll do is let me just take a dip of the bread and taste it with the balchan gravy so i'm hoping not to sweat out here because the balchan can be a little bit spicy so what i'm going to do is okay let's go all in so let's dip it all in and taste it if my head blows off <laughs> let's try it oh wow so i expected it to be very spicy but it's very nice and very tolerable it's like any even a non spicy eater will love it it has uh, some vinegar kind of flavor to it also so i don't know i'm sensing some notes of vinegar in this but it has a nice flavor to it this bread is like the harder version of the uh, than the poyi so it's nice when you're eating uh, like gravy dishes because then it does not fall apart which whereas in when you have like uh, the regular poyi or the pao then what happens is with this kind of a gravy dish it just becomes a mess so we'll put the prawn here see Wow. <laughs> I wish I could share the flavor with you guys. So yeah. It's very nice. And yeah, but it's it has a milder tone. The original version is a little more spicy. So if you've seen the if you have ever tasted a original balcha you know it's a very it has a too much kick but this one is manageable and still very delicious okay so if you've not eaten crabs before this is what a crab is like with the shell just comes off this is empty inside so here you'll have the claws the meaty claws and it's already broken so you can see the meat inside which looks so good it's like a lollipop guys so it's like a crab lollipop which i'm going to enjoy look at the meat okay oh i love it what i'll do is i'll just take some of the nice masala here oh wow you know i'm somebody who doesn't like spice at all but this is so nicely done with so medium it's not like over the top like sometimes i have crabs and my head is sweating and you know i'm sweating buckets but this is just perfect it's absolutely amazing oh wow the perfect blend of spice so this is the crab body and if you don't know how to eat crabs you break this in half like this okay i made a mess but you break it like that what happens is then all the meat comes in here so then you can just pull it out easily like this see and then you get all that delicious juicy crab oh it's so soft and i know it seems like i'm overdoing it but when you enjoy food like me when you're a foodie like me you'll really enjoy yourself Let's try some of the other things which are in this dish. So you have the prawns here. Hmm. So in terms of the taste of both these dishes, this also is quite a sweet dish which is similar to this. 
so i think the gravy of this is like almost similar but it's not the same but it has a similar texture we have our jeera rice here which you can it's nice it looks like basmati rice so this looks good hmm very nice so this is our food here and i don't know how i'm going to finish all of this and hopefully i can finish all of this so i'm going to parcel half of it but the scraps are just so delicious and imagine only 500 rupees guys this video is not sponsored they didn't even know i was coming i just randomly showed up here because i have a building which is close by to this area so i just decided okay let's come and try this place out i always wanted to come here and shoot a vlog so i said okay let's do this oh wow i can't help myself it's so so good you know and yeah so what we'll do is the last bit i'm going to dunk this into the masala of this thing it's not really a masala this is more like a sauce mm so i asked my wife sir and do you think anything else i should talk about yeah so that i think i pretty much covered everything here and now all i have to do is finish all of this or half of it or try to finish as much as possible also the squids i didn't tell you about the squids so they have squids these are not very big these are pretty small so anyway let's let's talk about the prices again this one i think is uh 450 but i'll put the price again this one is 450 this is 290 if i make a mistake i will put it on the screen so the prawn balchan is 290 six prawns of course i told you this is 500 and you have the bread of course and the gin there is 100 rupees for a small and 150 for a large or 130 i showed you in the menu anyway so guys that is this amazing place here viva goa so let me just show you the lights here so if you see there are let we'll just go a little closer to the lights and see you have these beautiful small lights here so if you come here in the evening you will have a nice vibe of this place you get to see the small lanes of panjim city and as you can see around here the vibe is absolutely amazing which gives you this nice local feel and you get to sense the feel and the relaxed vibe so they are playing some nice portuguese music and konkani music here so and they have some of course very relaxed music so you can have a beautiful lunch here on the streets of goa so guys we are done with lunch we had an amazing meal and i'll just give you a few of my recommendations before i show you the dessert so for my recommendations i would recommend the crabs it was really good and for the price it's great but uh, something to keep in mind guys is that every time the prices go up and down according to the catch of the day so the crabs could be more expensive or it could be cheaper even so accordingly to that the prices change every day things i would recommend at this restaurant is definitely try the kingfish fried sonak fried uh, prawns uh, butter garlic prawns rava fry these are really good they are really good for seafood add squids you can have squids golden fried and uh, sharon also was telling me some other dishes i don't know sizzlers okay yeah so sharon said the chicken sizzler is really good here the steaks are also really good and okay so from what i ate i would recommend the sizzler but if you want to try some authentic food instead of going for the sizzler try some fried fish here so you get the real you know fried fish experience here and like things like the crabs and stuff like that have a very nice flavor and taste okay so those are some of the things and also last but not least is the prawns you definitely have to try the prawn curry here prawn curry with plain rice so the prawn curry with plain plain rice is very very good because they make this rich coconut gravy i didn't get that today because i wanted to try something new so anyway now we are going back to a favorite of ours here which is the caramel custard look at that 
look at the wobble on this so every time i see something like this my mouth literally waters and you know it's so good let me just cut into this and show you guys what it's like so oh wow look at that deliciousness and this is like some nice caramel sauce that comes along with it mm, so good again not overacting it's really really good so it has this nice creamy smooth texture and the caramel which is burnt sugar is not very sweet i don't like extreme sweet things but this has that nice burnt charred flavor to it which is perfect so just a last look at this and you see the wobble amazing so guys that is it from here at viva panjim in goa and definitely check out my other videos i will be doing many more videos almost every single day guys so thank you for watching please do like and subscribe